I'm Sam Lasina, and I've been building landing nets for 25 years. Um, today I want to show you a couple techniques. First we're going to use a round over bit and take off the edge of this landing net. And then we're going to cut a net uh, groove uh, to hold the string uh, that you use to attach the net bag. Over the years I've seen uh, a lot of people use a variety of methods, some of which are very frightening. And I, today I want to show you a custom uh, router bit that I uh, had uh, created um, to, to use in uh, performing this task. So let's get started. First I'm going to round over the edges of this uh, landing net uh, with a round over bit in my router table. Um, I am uh, using a jig that I use to hold the landing net. Again, improving safety is all about uh, good work habits. I will be using air protection, so um, now I'm going to get started with that. I'm going to create um, a line across the uh, yoke of the landing net and that's going to tell me kind of where the groove on the landing net will start and stop. Um, I'm also going to mark the center line of the uh, landing net frame. Um, this is an estimate. Um, I will be fine-tuning that with the, using the router table. <clears throat> I place the uh, router bit in the uh, uh, router. Um, I'm going to now adjust the router uh, bit to where it's approximately uh, right at the center line that I created. And that is not a that's not an exact measurement at this time uh, because I will be now touching very lightly the frame to the router bit and that will let me uh, center the uh, uh, router bed in the net frame. So I've created a slight mark with the router bit and then I flipped the net over and made it the second mark. Now that lets me center between those two marks uh, the router bit so I know that I'm in the center of the frame. And I'll test this two or three times. Now you can see I've started here and I've progressively moved to now I have the cut as I flip the net over directly in the center. Now, so now we're ready to uh, cut our uh, groove in the net frame. So now we have uh, the uh, grooves uh, created in the center line of the uh, net frame uh, with the router bit. I want to show you that router bit now in a little more detail. Initially, I, uh, when I started net building, um, I used a uh, high-speed steel cutter that I had ground out on the uh, grinding wheel. Um, this worked uh, after a fashion, um, but I really wanted to improve uh, what, what my tooling. Working with a, uh, a company, we were able to develop a, uh, a small uh, wing cutter uh, this one is a carbide wing cutter, and this is a high-speed steel wing cutter. This is now available on my uh, website. Um, it comes with a double ball bearing arbor, and I have both half-inch and uh, quarter-inch shank uh, shafts. Um, the high-speed steel uh, is less expensive, but it's not, uh, it doesn't stay sharp as long as the carbide uh, uh, cutter bit. Um, check out my net building supplies at flyfishingnets.net um, where I have net bags, uh, wing cutters, my instructional DVD and other products for the net builder. Mm -hmm.